Okay, so hello and welcome to C programming. My name is Geha Rashedian, and well, in this course, um, basically what you will learn is uh, C programming, right? Now, the the purpose of this video is to introduce the course and and just show you basically how you can use this course because you might not find the necessary parts of the course so basically what happens is that um, now i need to um i will essentially um the the videos of the course of course you can you can um, find them on the on youtube right so the the, the 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 videos you you will find them on youtube but then there are other things about this course that you that you need to find on the on my website um now the course that 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 we have right now essentially it is um if you basically if you go to um my my uh, i have a website where i where i put all of my courses on this website if you go to greatitcourses.com and if you go to it and if you go to programming learning track this is the programming learning track and so here basically we have a couple of learning tracks there is the c learning track there is the C++ learning track, there is the Java learning track, there is Python, and so on and so forth. Um, and then, of course, if you come back to IT over here, there is also web development. The web development learning track over here is um, is, is about HTML and CSS. So you can go through these. Um, um, you can go through essentially the courses that you find here, and then find the course that 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 basically that the, the course essentially you need to download them and the course will teach you um, html css and that sort of thing and then on this learning track as you can see we have H html css so currently i'm i'm working on html and css later on we will talk a little bit about database management systems about javascript about php um and python will be discussed elsewhere of course but then we will we will discuss basically html css some database management system like for example the mysql server system and javascript and php or python and then you can put them together to write web apps and using this these web apps you can write you can create a website or a web app or whatever you might want to whatever sort of application you might you you want to to run on 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 the internet essentially so this is about web development and then there is this other learning track which is probably not you you wouldn't find much 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 interesting things over here these are essentially the tools that i use in order to create other courses so you don't have to worry about that now if I come back to the to the to the programming learning track as I mentioned before there is the C learning track there is C++ learning track there is Java and Python uh, C C++ and uh, excuse me the, the C++ Java and Python I haven't started working on them yet okay we will we will hopefully get to them soon um right now i'm working on the c programming learning track and um, if you go to the c programming learning track over here you can see that there is the there is a course over here 14 s1 and i have written all that all the important aspects of this course the course code uh, this is the code is an internal coding system that i have that i use in order to uh, basically organize my courses the course video is format the, the, the course format is video the 
uh, and and then you need to download this course from here from the if you click this link you will be able to download the course then you have to unzip the course and basically locate essentially put that somewhere on your computer hard drive and then use the course there is um, something like this some spreadsheet like this and using this spreadsheet you will you will be able to find your way through the course okay so this is the beginning of um, um, this is the beginning of basic tc programming okay now so these these essentially this part you will not be able to find it on youtube it's just simply not possible for me to put this on youtube because the format of the videos i have recorded them in such a way that it's actually not very easy to put them on youtube so it's um, so to start with your with essentially with the c language you need to start with this course over here okay now all of these courses i have created them based on the book based on this book which is let us see and you can although it's really not necessary to buy this book but to have access to this book you can essentially buy it from from amazon right so you can go to Amazon and you can see the, the, the book is let us see the ISBN 13 the the ISBN 10 and all of these numbers you can take them from here and buy the book it's a well of course it's a good book and all of the all of these courses in this learning track are based on the material that I have found in this book okay so first basically what you need to do is that you need to download this course download 14s1 and go through the course it's 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 basically chapters one two three of the same book right now once you're done with this course then you need to of course um, uh, continue with the with the chapters right and to continue with the chapters you need to move to course 14s2 14 s2 it's not been mentioned here yet but i will basically put them on this put put the course on this page and whatever it is necessary for the course for essentially whatever downloads is necessary for the course i will put them on this page so that you can um you can essentially have access to the code snippets and uh, uh, code listings and all of the things that are related to this course now once you download basically those that that material the videos of course you will find them on youtube so you, you don't need to to download the the uh, basically the videos but the code listings and other things there is note there is some note that comes with this course other things once you download them it's going to look like a folder like this once you unzip it on your computer so there is basically the there is the there's this spreadsheet using this spreadsheet you will be able to find your way through this course which would be essentially this spreadsheet over here 14s2 and then um, so using this this spreadsheet you know essentially how to proceed with the different stages of the course and then there is the videos so these videos are not going to be in your uh, download so i don't need to talk about that there is two things over here that are important first of all there is the code the the notes and there, then then there is the code listing now i have prepared my own notes for this course and those notes um, i have written them in the form of a, a website so you have to essentially you can click over here and there is a file over here that says index.html this is an html file when you open this this index.html <coughs> you will have a website like this opened on your computer so there is the home page of this website I suggest that you read this page because it has something to do with basically open essentially it has something to do with 
free software and free user manuals and things like that if you create your own material it might you might actually find the material that i have written over here interesting and helpful to other people so the the, the home page of the website is essentially this material then there is level one and the level one is related to the same course that i showed you meaning that uh, the course 14 s1 but since the course has already been created and i create I, I essentially i created this course before i created this this website so in level one i have not created any material over here if that happens to be necessary i will create some material and put in level one otherwise the level one part has been discussed over here right in level two this is related to the course 14 s2 that that i'm talking about and uh, so you can see that I, i've written here is a list of material related to c programming level two and then you can click on this on this material and you will go to different pages of this website and all of the material that you need to proceed with it with the videos are basically over here but you do not need to essentially it, if you want to essentially to go through the material in this order you will essentially get lost in the material because because there are things that have not been listed here what you need to do in order to be able to 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 use this course properly you need to use the spreadsheet that comes with this course okay so the spreadsheet you can see that it starts from the course introduction and there is a video for that for example that comes on youtube then there is the copyright so you can read a couple of the uh, some material over here for example then there is for example there is the c uh, logical operators that is a for example a video on the web on, on youtube or something like that or this is another you this is another video and this is another video and this is another video and so on and so forth and you can see that for example and inside of these videos there are different things discussed right now for example in this video you can see that there is um, what i have discussed is combining logical operators and if else statements for example that's a typical thing for example for this uh, that's something that we have done in this video and then i've written over here as as a note that you that you have to take a look at and all of these have been discussed in the, in the video so you will be able to make sense of everything as you go along and then there is for example this this code listing for example c underline level 2 underline cl5 cl means code listing and that's c that's a that's a c file and then these files you will be able to to find them essentially over here so um, you have basically if you go to code listing over here you can see that there is code listing number one two three four five six and so on and so forth and when you click on any of these the editor that you have basically installed on your computer will open up and it will show you basically the code and everything has been uh, has been explained essentially in the in the code over here meaning that for example the program file name the uh, what the program is supposed to do and the program itself and some explanation related to the program the same has been ex has been explained in the videos as well whenever necessary whenever not well i mean whatever has was has whatever was necessary for the course content to be understood properly i have put everything either in the form of text or in the form of the in the form of the material in the video or both depending on the case and uh, that's essentially the, the whole course okay now um, what you need to do is that so to, to essentially to, to use this course essentially to learn c programming 
what you need to do is that as a result you need to go to this to to it and greatitcourses.com and uh, then you need to on the menu you, you, you essentially you need to go to the it to this it tab over here programming learning track and see programming learning track and then over here you will you will have to download this course and start from this course once you're done with this course then you will move to 14s2 which will be listed under this course um, meaning by the time that you get this course that the, the course will have been listed here and then you will have to download the material for this course from the from a link on this page and uh, the videos related to all of this to, to essentially starting from the second course will be on youtube essentially so that's basically all that you need to know in order to be able to use this this material um, successfully okay now again what what i what i um, what i um, wanted to, to to emphasize here is that basically as you can see all of the material over here is copyright uh, Creative Commons attribution, at, at, attribution li license version 4 which means that with, the, with this material you can do whatever you want to do meaning that you if you want to write down your own text you can write down your own text if you want to based on this material if you want to create your own courses you can create your own courses if you want to um, I don't know take the material build on top of that in any way that you want you can do that you can even use the material commercially if you want to or if if you want to if you if you want to use the material commercially you can do that the only thing is that basically based on this 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 copyright type the only thing that you need to do is that you need to link back to uh, this website uh, which is essentially greatitcourses.com as i showed you over here you need to just simply do a do attribution to great it courses that for example that i have taken this material from here and then i've made these and these and these changes to the material and so on and so forth so uh, meaning that the the source of the material has to be uh, essentially referred to and then and then provided that you do proper attribution you can do whatever you want to do with the material the goal of essentially all of this is that basically that the um, that um, um, the goal of this is that basically as um, pointed out on gnu.org or gnu.org that we can somehow get rid of basically proprietary software and proprietary user manuals and things like that meaning that the problem with um, the problem the main problem that we have today i mean one of the one of the main problems when it comes to books and software and user manuals and things like that is that well everything is well available there is no problem with books we have whatever subject you want to study there is countless books that you can buy on amazon you can buy books from bookstores here and there there, there is no there is no limitation on that but then the problem with those books and users user manuals and software or whatever it is that you buy is that there is a copyright to that there is the, it, or or for example if there is software the software is basically um is is not free software it's proprietary software which means that basically um you don't have access any access to 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 the to the source code of the software and that becomes a that becomes essentially a a bad problem that we have created today and hopefully we should get rid of that that problem now if you want to know and the problem that i'm referring to is that for example when you buy a copy of microsoft windows 
the 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 software essentially comes with no source code the source code you don't have access to and you don't know what is inside your computer when you buy for example an operating system from the from the from the apple company for example apple does not give you the source code okay and um, this creates many different types of problems and to understand essentially why this is a problem in the first place you can essentially on this website that that you will download from the from essentially from from the for the c language you can essentially follow this link and go to gnu operating system gnu operating system and then uh, on this page by richard stallman essentially you can read why this is a why this is such a huge problem and the, 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 the and but but essentially the, the the problem with that is that well we have kind of get gotten used to the idea of proprietary software everybody takes it for granted that when you buy software the, the software you pay some money for that and then you install it on your computer and you're not supposed to know what's inside the software but that could lead to many different types of problems um, social problems um, security problems um, and many other types of problems you can I suggest that that you read this website very thoroughly meaning that you start from the about page go through these page go, go through these pages and um, the philosophy the license the education and so on and so forth go through this website very thoroughly it's it's going to be very informative and educational okay and then of course using um, using essentially uh, the website that i have created here and along with the videos you will be able to learn the c language then we will talk later on we'll talk about c plus plus c sharp and uh, python and other different types of software so i'll see you in the next videos with the with the rest of the course thank you